The path to the championships has already begun for some, with qualifying taking place at the Bank of England Sports Centre in Roehampton. For the second year running, play was broadcast globally, allowing viewers a chance to see some tales of the unexpected develop from the outset. Along with an international television audience, the event was well attended in the flesh too, with all ticket proceeds going towards the Wimbledon Foundation. Play at Roehampton has become a spectacle to savour and a key ingredient of the championships. My first time here actually in Roehampton was just two years ago and I fell in love with the place. It's such a nice place to watch really good tennis and really competitive tennis and, and the space is amazing and I, I love it here. Players need to win three matches to make it through to the main draw and some intriguing storylines have emerged down the years. You can see some amazing players all lined up on these courts in some great matches. And if you come through that, you deserve it. The runs that some players have started over here and continued on into the main draw, it's, it's fascinating to watch. You see some of the young ones getting an opportunity, seeing them taking their first step, and that's always exciting. And then it's great to see crowds over here watching these uh, young players with, with qualifying. It gives them encouragement. For the first time in three years, no Brits progressed to the championships via Roehampton. But Belgian Ruben Bemmelmans made it to the main draw. On the ladies' side, 2014 finalist Eugenie Bouchard cleared the three hurdles in her way. I feel like I earned it more uh, than having just been in by ranking. You know, I'm, I'm proud of it and I, I got matches this week. That's what I've wanted. I, I haven't played a lot, I've been injured, so the goal is to play matches and I got that. 